Hi, everybody. Welcome to Winnipeg, and we are in the true north. It's hockey weather, and the Jets are on home ice. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Oilers get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Oh, he caught him in the open ice! Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Sensational stop by Hillebuck. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square with the shooter, that's a great save. Winnipeg's in on the offensive attack now. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Tremendous stop by Hillebuck. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Oilers are first to light the lamp tonight. Let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back and forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. Winnipeg's won the faceoff at center. Now a quick pass to Niederreiter. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Slotted out of midair. Ayafalo's got the puck in his own zone. They fight for it along the boards. The Oilers have it now. Here's a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Quick pass to CeCe. Oh, great save by Hillebuck. Great read by CeCe. Hammers it on net. Well, who needs a doctor when you've got a nurse like Darnell who puts it in? This is such a beautifully executed goal, but it's all in the past, James, knowing exactly where everyone is on the ice. You have to have the hands to be able to distribute a puck like this, but how about the vision? How about scanning? How about processing where everyone is? This is unbelievable from start to finish. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. And he sends it across to Dylan. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Edmonton's got it in the wrong zone. Inside the offense, he's got a step. Can't get that one to go. Well, it's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway, and then you get nothing in return, a missed opportunity. Take it along the wall by McLeod. Edmonton's on the attack. And there's the save on the play. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Bouchard's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he's so fast, even when skating with the puck. Hellebuck's high compete level makes him solid in the crease. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Most quickly ever. Play continues. Listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James. I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the putt tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Goalie can't get set to position in time and it winds up in the back of the net. Edmonton's built themselves a large lead and there are still more than two periods to play here. 
The Jets win the draw. And he lays him out with that collision. There's a hit, and he's trying to leave everything out there on the ice tonight. And he's knocked off the puck there. Sends a pass over. Denies him with a pass save. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Oilers are winning this game. They have a comfortable lead because they've owned the puck in terms of possession time. I mean, the underlying numbers are fantastic. But it's what they've done with the puck as well. They found ways to attack and not just hang out on the perimeter. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Well, the officials aren't going to let this go on, James. There's going to be coincidental calls here. No harm, no foul. Both of them are going to the box. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier. And if you're a defender, you know you hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Lowers the boom with that hit. That goes wide. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Troy Sight is hit. Not viewed positively in the eyes of the officials. And charging is the call. Jets with a 4-3 power play coming up. With one left beat there, it is extremely dangerous to have four players on the ice, especially when you create a two-on-one up high, looking to set up the one-timer. Sends it over to McLeod. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Niederreiters gain the line and on the attack. Solid hit on that play. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. McLeod's last play was impressive, James. I mean, he's falling. He's almost on one foot. Incredible balance. But more importantly, the awareness to know exactly where he was passing and distributing the puck. Gains the zone through center. Center feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop. Edmonton's looking to break out. Uses the force on that hit. Bring it away! to anticipate and get across to make that save. Edmonton's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. This power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Edmonton's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. The Jets win the draw. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Over the line they come. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Oh, no, there he goes again, James. It's the second time this period, and it's real tough to get into a rhythm on your bench when you consistently take penalties. Chance. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. 
And he slides it quickly to Ehlers. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Shot! Oh, stopped with the pad by Skinner. The Oilers can play it from the defensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Edmonton's got him along the wall. Moves it to Dayarnay. That knocks him off the puck. Trying to shake loose. When you're free and clear on a breakaway, your opponent has no choice but to take you down one way or the other, and they're going to get the tripping call, and a penalty shot's going to ensue. Here's his chance, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Takes a shot. He scores! What a finish on the penalty shot. Perfectly executed, and I love the way he comes in with some speed on the penalty shot and just gets the goaltender to move first and then capitalizes. Winnipeg's got to find a way to get a couple more now after showing some signs of life. The pushback is on, much more aggressive through this period than they were in the first games. And they're going to have to continue that, but it's going to start on the faceoff. They have to get a win, own possession, and start distributing the puck. When they do that, they're going to create some speed and some opportunities on net. Moves the puck along the half wall. Whiffs on that. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here in the back half of this period, Winnipeg still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. McDavid's won the draw there on the attack. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Dreisaitl's good at moving the play along, but he distributes the puck with solid, firm passes that his teammates can handle, guys. He just loves setting them up with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. Dylan's got it in the defensive end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Dylan. And that's intercepted by Hyman. What happened there? Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Gets in front of it. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Now you can see in his body language that he's frustrated with himself as he dances to the penalty box for the second time this period. They've got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission, which can pause and give their opponent some rest that they need. Janmark's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. The Jets gain control of the puck. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! I think the goaltender's still looking for that puck, James. I mean, that just a quick release. It's a beautiful snapshot that's taken in stride, and it winds up filling the back of the net. Winnipeg's not out of the woods just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a the goal. 
The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Knocked off the puck. Taken by Morrissey. Sends one up to Shifley. On the attack along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Eels. Stoles him in front. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender who does a great job of making it happen. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket. 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Jets really haven't played well for 40 minutes of play, James, and they need to change the mindset, refocus in this third period if they want to get back in this game. And it's going to start with puck retrieval, having some urgency around it to be able to get it and hold on to it. I mean, they haven't had any possession time. Moves it in front! And nothing materializes on that chance. McDavid's got control of the puck in the corner. Great save by Hillebuck. Edmonton's game possession along the boards. Oh, he stopped that rocket. Hellbuck's putting on a clinic tonight. I mean, he's been busy right from the... There's a collision along the boards, and there's a whistle from the officials as the paint of glass is cracked. Now, remember back in the day, James, the hot thunder is hit, and all of a sudden the glass would explode or shatter? Well, not anymore, and that's a good thing. So there's not as much cleanup. They just have to replace the paint. Set the drop. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Snaps one on there. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. The Jets will play it in their own end. Gets the puck over to Bouchard. Pass to Nurse. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Fires it with the stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Edmonton's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. The Jets win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Slides the puck across to Kane. He's got a step. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Slip feed. And now he moves it to Brown. The Oilers play it along the wing. Plays the body into that play. Redirected off a stick. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Past the midway mark in this period. The Oilers have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Bellardi's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Feed to Niederreiter. Along the half wall with the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Handles it along the blue line. Snaps it on net. Oh, what a glove save by Hillebuck. The Hurricanes are up next, according to the league's schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available. Should be a good one. In the final moments of this period, Edmonton's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. And he takes the pass. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. 
looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's turned aside by Hellebuck. Let's it fly! Oh, what a save in front! Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to trap and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And look at this, they turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. have had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight and they have capitalized and look at the score as a result. Edmonton's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. And now it's taken by McDavid. Quick pass to Nurse. Oh, what a stop on the play. Picked up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Puck scooped up by Nurse. And now it's over to Hyman. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Well, I think it's safe to say after this one, they are on a losing skid right now. Yeah, they really are, and they're so frustrated. You can sense it. I mean, for stretches within the game, you thought like they were going to make it happen, and then just some costly mistakes, turnovers, not managing the puck in key areas, and it winds up in the back of their net. they are going to have to find a way to, to really gravitate towards something positive here, James, and try and get out of their own heads. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. See ya.